What is the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick video today, right? A lot of people have been asking me about the Showtime cards, right? And usually I go into a lot of detail with these cards and I talk about, you know, why they're good. If they're not so good, we discuss that as well. But we do have Mo Salah, Ruben Diaz and Odegaard here. And I think that these are kind of, they're very difficult cards to recommend because with the eFootball24 coming out quite soon, I do feel like that these cards are kind of the last kind of throw at the dice at like, you know, real kind of like end game level player cards, right? I mean, Salah has been somebody that I haven't really got on with too much. Odegaard is somebody that I think has, is just lacking a couple of skills. And Ruben Diaz, depending on your play style, is just one of the best defenders in the game, pound for pound. And this card is sensational. Um, but it does beg to differ. Do you guys want to spin, right? If you are going to be going to be spinning so close to eFootball24, where I think they will release kind of club packs and stuff with better versions or at least similar versions um, where you'll be able to guarantee get your players I think that's kind of where we're going to look at today right so there also is a couple of these cards thrown in as well what they're calling highlight English league cards again you've got a couple of good players in here um, just to take a quick look at them, I mean Grealish, uh, Ake, Casemiro, they're all pretty decent players and they're kind of balanced with what they've already released, right? So if you have missed any of my training guides or anything like that, or you do want a dedicated training guide, let me know, right? Because I will do it, because it does take a little bit of time to do the training guides um, and figure everything out if you are, you know, you need to give me a bit of information what you guys want, right? But uh, starting with these cards, right? Odegaard goes to a whopping 97, he starts off at an 85, the biggest problem that I see people complaining about with Odegaard is his speed and his physical contact for that kind of attacking midfielder, central midfielder role. Uh, that's not really the biggest issue with Odegaard, lads. The biggest issue with him is the fact that he doesn't have one-touch pass off the rip and he also has got a very, very um, decisive kind of, or a very decisive play style, which is creative playmaker, right? So at the moment with the current gameplay, whole player is the main attack and threat that you have as an AMF for the runs. And if you're used to playing with a player like this, that is not a whole player, right? You will have the acceleration when you train him up. He's got 28 levels to go, so it's not bad. It's not a bad card at all. Um, but it's not, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say that the game changing pass is really noticeable. So if you were spinning as an Arsenal fan for Odegaard, I would definitely say to wait for a club pack if they do release one of them. Sal is in kind of a difficult position as well because look, I'm not going to try and let my biased uh, United fan uh, kind of, you know, go in. I'm still sore over the 7-1 drubbing that we got last season. But at the same time, I do think that Salah is, you know, a really, really good player. He's just a very difficult player to use. And the reason for that, in my opinion, is that, again, he's missing that one-touch pass. If you are going to be playing him, you're really limited to where you can play him, which is a right winger. And he doesn't have... Even though he's got really good pace and really good speed and um, acceleration, right? And he's got everything that goes into the 90s. I mean, as you see there, he's got 28 levels. So if you're popping 12 onto all of those categories, you are going to have a player that is going to have 90 plus in offensive awareness, ball control, dribbling, tight possession and finishing and acceleration and speed and balance when like i mean he he kind of he kind of is the best card statistically wise but trust me he just does not work in the card i think or in the game i think his card is kind of limited by the fact that he is a roman flank and that is a slightly different card um you know build up with if you want a, a guy on the wing right because you are limited in making salah into kind of a cut in and shoot player which the game really doesn't reward at the moment you know yes you do have scissors faint and double touch you don't have one touch pass you don't have first time shot you do have chip shot control and long range shooting with outside curler and long range curler but you are missing a couple of other dribble centric skill moves that you want there yes he has unwavering form i i think the players being on c rating these players should be a they should be a or b lads to to make it really worthwhile um but salah for me yeah he just i don't know what it is on the pitch Maybe I will give him a, a really good go before eFootball 2024, but for some reason, the game just does not suit his play style. Yes, you will have the stats all the way up into the 90s, which is phenomenal, but there's cards that, you know, outperform him in a similar position. If you're not able to use Messi as a cut in and shoot on the left type player from the right wing, you're not going to be able to make hay with Salah either. 
And that brings us on to the pick of the pack, which is Ruben Diaz, right? So Diaz is a fantastic option, lads. You're going to have a player that has pretty much got every defensive capability and every defensive stat, player skill, everything apart from blocker. If you throw blocker on this guy, it's huge. I would also throw acrobatic clearance on him. He does have everything else, sliding tackle, man marking, heading, interception, aerial superiority, and fighting spirit. So whack um, uh, blocker on him, whack acrobatic clearance on him. I would also add, if you could, uh, one touch pass. If you wanted to make him kind of end game, you know, Cannavaro, Cardoba, big time Tommy Yasu uh, style uh, card. I do think that that's the one thing with Ruben Diaz is he is a bit of a baller with them lofted passes. He can set counter attacks going, which is quite unique for him. And I love the fact that he's down as a destroyer. Now, one thing with him, right, is the is the speed and the acceleration. I know you're looking at this and you're thinking, yeah, speed and acceleration doesn't really matter. I'm able to keep up with Mbappe as Ruben Diaz, so I'm just going to pop up his defense and get everything into pretty much maxed out territory, right? But I do think that they are going to change the gameplay slightly in um, eFootball 24. I think they have to they have to give fast players an advantage, um, you know, when you get them. No, we don't want to go back to the, the, the days of Van der Merch, or we don't want to go back to the days of, you know, Pez, I don't know, 2020, where everything was just a speed fest, 4 3, three up front. There is a bit of variety now that it is through the middle, but you can play, still play wings because, you know, you need to be able to pass and move. Um, but yeah, I would see them kind of changing a few things. So, so that is one thing to keep in mind. If you do find that Diaz is a little bit slow for you in this build, I mean, I would definitely retrain him and boost his acceleration up to at least 70. I know you'll have to take away from something, but he does have enough levels to do it. So that is it, Les. Just a really quick review of those players, whether it's worth spinning or not, is up to you. I mean, it's your cash, it's your money, whether you have a beastly squad or not. You don't need these guys to get you to Division 1. If you want to collect cards, yes, they are lovely cards to have. You've got your one-year contract with them as well, which is going to be huge to carry over into eFootball 24. And you've got two linchpin players, I would say, in Diaz and Salah. But in terms of other players out there that compare and what is coming up in eFootball 24, um, it's a tough decision. So, yeah, uh, we will do training, guys, if you want. But let me know which one you want first, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe.